What are the strange traditions with Meghan when she married Harry? Now, Viscountess Henchingbrook herself, an American who married into the British aristocracy, has revealed how Meghan will need to adapt, from embracing the family tweets to developing a taste for tomato soup infused with vodka. The mother of four, 44, who was born in rural Illinois, met her husband Luke Montague whose ancestor the 4th Earl of Sandwich gave his name to the popular lunch staple at a party in 2003. They married a year later at Maperton, the family's exquisite Jacobean family pile described by Country Life as the finest manor house in England, with Julie wearing the family tr. And one of the biggest shocks to the system as the yoga instructor became part of one of Britain's oldest aristocratic families was the impeccable manners required. The constant please and thank you is wonderful to be around it's so positive, she told female. Of course, we use these words too in the USA but not near as often. I've learned to love the formalities, the drinks parties, the family tweed, the family crest, the elevenses at shoots and the afternoon tea. It's the rich history that I find fascinating. Walking through our family home now, Maperton, and seeing paintings and furniture that are older than my country and learning about who they are and where they came from still fascinates me to this day and I suspect Meghan will feel the same. Well, for one they are cold, much colder than the LA temperature that she grew up in, most stately homes that she will be visiting for dinner, parties and events do keep the temperature low due to the expensive painting and furniture. If it's too hot or the heat on above a certain temperature, that can damage the paintings and furniture, I believe the ideal temp is 16 columns. So, she will have to get used to colder homes than she's used to I certainly did, and perhaps invest in some really good woolly hats to wear even in summer. Megan can expect different cuts of meat than what we are used to in the States, for example, venison is incredibly popular to serve at dinner, parties and shoot parties as well as boar with crackling. Yes. I remember being served boar once and with all the crackling and had no idea you were supposed to eat it. And lamb is much more common here in the UK to serve as a main alongside parsnips or celeriac. We really don't eat parsnips or celeriac in the States, I hadn't a clue what they were until I moved over here. I'm sure Megan will be going on a lot of shoots, and she can definitely expect slogan. I immediately thought it would be well just like gin or clear drink and taste the same. Not the case, slogan is red liqueur, and of course the tomato soup infused with vodka while eating sausages for her elevenses during the shoots. Megan can expect lots of long walks, the British aristocracy love to go on long country walks first thing in the morning and after lunch rain or shine. So, she will have to invest in a good pair of wellies that will definitely be a new term for Megan and a traditional waterproof for the rain. Americans would just call it a pair of boots and a trench coat. And of course, there's shooting pheasants that is. Prince Harry likes to shoot and so Megan will most likely be wearing the family tweed, a pair of plus fours and some shooting socks while she accompanies Prince Harry out on the drives and for the elevenses and the long lunches that are traditional in big shoots. Here in the UK, we use so many forks, knives, spoons, goblets and bizarre looking small pots for cream, butter, hot water, sauces and so on. She will have to get to grips with the lavish table setting, for example, what fork is used for what course and so on with the knives and spoons. There is also smaller things like knowing when to speak with a person on her left and then switches to speak to the person on the right. Also. Pouring water or wine when hosting a party Megan will most certainly know now that you always fill everyone else's glasses up first before your own. And anything that needs to be passed to someone across the table must be passed person by person around the table until it reaches the right chair. When I first moved here nearly two decades ago, I was certainly surprised with the idea of a blow dry and how often people get them. And she can certainly expect to be visiting the salon more to have her hair blow dried for what's going to be endless public appearances. What I do love about Meghan however is that she remains down to earth and relatable to the everyday woman, using more affordable beauty bargains like Nivea Q10 body lotion thankfully it's stopped over here in the UK too, 
and has been upgraded with added vitamin C.